Welcome to GITV News. These are the news stories for the week. Earlier this week, Nintendo was finally ready to reveal the global launch dates for the upcoming successor to the Nintendo DS, namely the Nintendo 3DS. If you're a European gamer like us, you can therefore look forward to being able to buy the unique handheld console on the 25th of March. The American version of the console will be priced at $249, but so far no official European price have been revealed yet, with rumors from several retailers uh, putting the price at something close to £229 British pounds. Also revealed was that the 3 ds will get 25 titles before July, and here's hoping that a big part of those will be quality Nintendo first-party titles. It must be extremely hard diversifying a game in as crowded and competitive an area as the racing genre. That hasn't stopped Atari and Eden Games from carrying on with the development of Test Drive Unlimited 2, and in fact the game has now gone gold, meaning that it should be ready for release on the 11th of February. Promising more of the seamless blend of single and multiplayer, Test Drive Unlimited 2 also lets you get out of the car to attend driving school, check out car dealerships and even buy clothes for your character. GameRactor already has an extensive preview of the game, so check it out on the site if you want to know more about the game. It seems that it is not only the movie version of Tron Evolution that has been met with lower than expected sales, but also the video game based on the movie. That has had dire consequences for developer propaganda games who have now been shut down by parent company Disney Interactive. Propaganda games previously developed the reboot of the Turok series and at one point was also working on a Pirates of the Caribbean MMO before that project was cancelled. It seems that the rumors never stop when it comes to what is next for the Call of Duty series. And the newest rumor stems from the pages of newspaper LA Times. The story says that both the series original creator Infinity Ward and new studio Sledgehammer Games are working on the single player of the series' next installment, while experienced developer Raven Software is taking care uh, of the game's multiplayer component. Sledgehammer Games is the new studio started by Glenn Schofield and Michael Condry, who both uh, were instrumental in starting up Visceral Games, the successful subsidiary of Electronic Arts, and Call of Duty will be the studio's first new game. If you're planning on buying both the upcoming Dead Space 2 and Dragon Age 2, you are in luck. Publisher EA just announced that Dead Space 2 will come with an unlock code that gives you a special armor in the BioWare sequel to the popular Dragon Age Origins. Named Sir Isaac of Clarke's armor after engineer turned space hero Isaac Clarke of Dead Space fame, the armor will be divided into four parts. Sir Isaac's boot, armor, gauntlets and helm all with unique design and powers. EA previously used a similar bonus system for players who both bought the original Dragon Age and Mass Effect 2 and got to wear the unique Blood Dragon armor. These were the news for the week, hope you enjoyed them and make sure to watch next week.